Hello, welcome back to Bandu Sushi Live. Today I will be doing breakdown of this little project that I was doing. It's basically I tried to composite the cutouts of Bruce Lee into my works working space. All right, so let me quickly show you. So I'm using options and middle mouse drag. This is new in latest Blender. You can scrub this way if you are in the full screen. So it's yeah, it's Bruce Lee doing like simple pose, crane pose, and it's placed on my Mac. All right, disregard my messy desk. But so basically, what I did, um, everything here is actually flat, including the footage, and Bruce Lee itself is pretty flat. It's a it's a cutout, and I simply animated using Blender Bones. If I show everything. So you can see the locators that's being placed in 3D. However, the the image plane is actually flat. Let, let me see if I can show this everywhere, not just on the view. Oh well, anyway, if I switch to the camera view, you can see it's become 3D. And What's happening here is I'm using an, an app called Camtrack AR. It's a uh, it's not new, but just recently being updated. So you can use AR and you can have like a green screen character. Um, let me sh just show you. This is what I recorded earlier. So this is Camtrack AR in action. Before I start recording the environment, I simply mark make like locator just uh, to be sure this is like actually referencing the table not the, the the Mac itself so it's looking at the table or things like flat like the wall the floor table so it's understand uh, it's understand the scene that way it's using um, the iPhone Air and just now I just did the recording and then exporting it out um, so I want to sh I want to show you the whole process actually. So I can start with a blank. This is the Blender startup file. I'm gonna delete everything. The app itself comes with a with the add-on that you install. So it's by FX Home. What we need to do after we install the add-on, it simply goes into the folder. There's this HFCS file that you can load. Once you load it, it's actually load everything that I just capture using my iPhone. Um, this is the whole files. Okay, this is the video files. It's flat. Like I said, it's just flat. It's just the uh, the footage, and there's uh, all kind of data. This is the add-on itself. HFCS file. You just load it into Blender. Now if you jump jump into the camera, there is nothing yet. If I turn on background background images, add image, select movie clip, open, and I will select the file. We will see. We have the footage. Um, I will increase the opacity. I can actually uh, now put like a tree object, Suzanne or Donuts. I'll put Suzanne. Oops. I'll I'll make sure Suzanne is placed nicely flat on the grid. Usually, we make like a refer we reference the table and we mark it like a, this is the floor and we we place our character. In the grid, but put it on the scale, like uh, put it at the right scale on the on the re reference area. Now, back into the camera view, you can see Suzanne is now placed on the table. You might notice a slight offset, right? That's because I think by default. This animation is slightly offset by one frame, so be careful with that. Took me a while to, to figure it out. 
now it's perfectly aligned. This is uh, again using Apple iPhone or iPad AR camera tracking. It's been a while for three, I think almost more than three years. So the AR kit data is used now inside Blender in, in post productions. Normally you you can you can use like a you create your 3D model in Blender and then you export it out as GLB or USDZ AR objects and then you just place it in the 3D. This is doing it in the opposite way where you do, you do the camera tracking and you record the footage and now you place it 3D in Blender. Why? Why are we doing this? Because we can actually composite 3D back into Blender and then render it out. Something that's more realistic. So let's save this. This is the the composite. We have CZN, but uh, we're just gonna use Bruce Lee this time. Okay, file, open. I have Bruce Lee in T Pose. This is my old projects from 2000, 2019 or 2020. Well, probably from 2019. Yeah, you can see this is the wireframe, and Bruce Lee is driven by this simple armature bone. I can recreate this in the future using a different cutout for now. Okay, it's loading the texture. This is the Bruce Lee in T pose. Okay. The great Bruce Lee. I kind of wish Bruce Lee or Brandon Lee, you know, is in Mortal Kombat, but they are already in heaven. So, yeah. So let's get back to this. Yeah, so just now I just scaled Bruce Lee into positions. I can rotate it. I think it would be nice if we just we have a setup so that Bruce Lee is always facing the camera. So that's also something to keep in mind. I feel it is a bit long. I just gonna cut it. Now we have Bruce Lee doing a crane on my MacBook Pro. Pretty cool. I will hide everything else. Oh, actually, we, we keep everything above. Get rid of everything. Okay, we need a camera in order to see this and probably getting rid of the grid also and any extras. Just for a quick preview, I believe it also can be set for 30 frames or 60 frames per second. I recorded at 30 frames per second on Contract AR. So like I said, uh, the, the app itself is not new, but it's recently updated so you can have like a green screen character. So you can easily replace um, the background on the app using 3D model from Blender as long as it's uh, in the format of USDZ but like I said this is the data that's coming back from the AR kit into Blender now you can render this out you can add like shadows or things like that okay so yeah I think that's pretty cool and pretty easy to set up took me just actually just seconds to shoot and then export it maybe just a few minutes export it into blender and we have, we have something that's ready to be shot so if you're ever doing like a quick uh, testing for your movie you can use your iphone or ipad um, i think it's it's really cool i'm using iphone 12 pro it's gonna work all the way to iphone 10 maybe but the one with lighter i think uh, it's much more precise okay so it's a uh, you don't of course you are very likely not uh, shooting the scene um, using your iPhone you might have a different camera so maybe there's a slight offset but you put the iPhone to do the tracking so you have like a real footage like 4k footage of the your movie and then you want to bring in some 3d objects into the scene you can easily do that because it's doing all the tracking for you this this app so it's really powerful
So back with Bruce Lee, first file, frame selected. If we show everything again. So this is from 2019. Blender has been updated many, uh, many, many times, but still, this works. Maybe I have something to adjust. Oh, it's this thing slides a little bit. I think I have the IK turn on here. Auto IK. With Auto IK turn on, if you select certain bone, it's gonna just drive what's underneath. So, for example, if I select this part, okay, it's doing this kind of motions. I wish it's staying on the floor. Okay. This seems to be working. But the auto IK is not always predictable. So it's better if you create a proper IK setup. Maybe maybe that's for my next video. Use cutouts, re-read the character and then we can animate properly. If you turn off the other IK then gosh it's it's easy to pose. This is a victory pose. You might have seen this on anime or manga. It's basically like a victory pose. Well, anyway, yeah, and then if you're happy with the pose, keyframe, location, rotation, and scale. Okay. Now back to the camera action. All right, now we have Bruce Lee. Now, if you're if you want to bring this back into your iPhone, you just file export GLB, and you're gonna have Bruce Lee animated as AR. All right. So thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.